Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be installing the garage door lock. Uh, a couple days ago, my husband and I tried a few different locks that we ordered off of Amazon. Didn't work, returned it. Then we ordered, no, we went to Lowe's and picked up one. We didn't like the setup, so we returned that. And now we ordered another lock, which is a digital lock. And we will be installing that on the garage door today. I'm so excited. Um, hopefully it's easy and it's not like super time consuming because I declare, I tried to record this video at least two times already with two different locks and it was a fail. So I'm gonna take you with me. I'll try to install the lock and hopefully it's a breeze. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to press the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you can get notified when I post new videos. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in one more second. Okay, so we're gonna put a pause in the installation of the door lock because as soon as I got ready to install the door lock, here comes one of my kids asking for a snack or some lunch really quickly. So <laughs> I'm gonna go make them some lunch really quickly and then I'll come back to the door lock. So today I'll be installing the Sifley X Smart Lock in the color black. You can find this lock on the Sifley.com website or you can purchase it on Amazon.com. This 6-in-1 this keyless entry smart lock has six ways for you to unlock your door. Whether you use your fingerprint sensor, custom passcode, key card fob, wireless key fob, two backup physical keys, or the fully functioning app. Never worry about forgetting your keys and locking yourself out. The auto lock is also enabled in case you forget to lock the door on your way out. The ergonomic fingerprint sensor is equipped with 4th gen oval shaped ergonomic fingerprint sensors for accurate and fast access in less than 0.3 seconds. Integrated print sensors on the lock's handles make it even, get even faster for you to open your door when fingerprints is recognized by the smart lock. The do-it-yourself installation takes only minutes using a Phillips screwdriver. No drills needed, no locksmith needed, and the door handle is reversible for both left and right-handed doors. Due to the lock size, it may interfere with screen doors or storm doors, but that's nothing to worry about if you're using it inside of your home. Also, the Sifley lock is great for Airbnbs, for short-term rentals, for offices, as well as for personal home use. We'll be using ours in our personal home, so this will be perfect setup for you and your family. If you're interested in pur purchasing the Sifley lock, again, you can purchase it at Sifley.com or on Amazon.com. The Sifley door lock is made of zinc alloy and the color is matte black. It weighs 4.29 pounds and the product dimensions are 6 by 3 by 1.12 inches. Each Sifley lock requires four AA batteries and the batteries are not included in the packaging. So please be sure to purchase your batteries prior to the lock installation. 
All four of the AA batteries are covered with a black panel that is located on the back side of the lock. So I've actually finished installing the hardware on the actual door. The lock looks so good and it was an easy process. The only hiccup that we had was the strike plate on the wall. Um, the space that was already cut out on our door frame fit for the previous lock. However, the new lock, the space is a little bigger so I couldn't install the new strike plate on the wall using the existing holes and things that was there and I would have to drill into the framing. And I was like, well, that's an extra step that I may not need to do. So I actually didn't do it and it works perfectly fine. The door still catches, it still locks. Um, it's still working perfectly fine. I've already tested it out. So right now what I'm about to do is I went ahead and downloaded the Sifly lock app from the Apple Store and I'm just going to go ahead and create an account because this is the first time that we are using, we've used this lock before. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account. Okay, so that was really easy. Um, it literally took me like two minutes <laughs> and the reason why it took so long because I wanted to figure out a password that would work for me and my husband that we both would remember and I think we came up with something. So now the Syfly app is asking me to use my Bluetooth because this does have Bluetooth capabilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now it's asking with the Syfly lock like to send me notifications is that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, agree to that now it says the phone needs to be within two meters of the smart lock during the pairing process so now it's about to pair so i have the lock right here next to me i'm just going to pop on over and begin to pair the lock okay so i'm really close to the lock and it says touch any key to activate the keypad okay so it said please Add a Bluetooth administrator. I'm going to go ahead and press next so we can get into pairing mode. And already it popped up and showed my lock. Adding administrator successful. And there we go. That was pretty easy. Okay, so now that I've assigned a administrator, which is myself, um, it's asking me to name my lock. So I'm going to go ahead and name my lock something that will definitely be memorable. That was easy. So now that we have finished installing the lock, we've downloaded the app and we have named the lock, we are about to go ahead and start setting up our passcodes. Now with the Syfly lock, it is Bluetooth capable. You can also activate it by using your fingerprints or you can do passcodes. And they also come with these things called e-keys. And if you can see those, e-keys. And they also come with these keys as well. So we're gonna keep these in the safe spot because I don't think we're gonna use those right now. And I don't think we're gonna use our thumbprints right now or our fingerprints or whatever. I don't think we're gonna use those things right now. We're just gonna go ahead and set up the passcodes. Once you've downloaded the Syfly app and you've created your account and you've named everything, you're gonna to come to the home page where you can generate passcodes. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate a passcode. And they have permanent passcodes, time passcodes, one-time use passcodes, and reoccurring passcodes. So this is great if you have like workers who'll be coming in your home or you have family members who'll be dropping by 
It also works well for just your family. So you could create like a permanent passcode for your household, but then you can also have like secondary passcodes for if you have a, let's say you have someone who comes by your house and walks your dog every day at three o'clock. You can have it so that between the hours of 2.30 and 5, this particular code would work, but then any Monday through Friday, but then any time outside of that, it wouldn't work, you know? So I definitely like that. That's an amazing feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a permanent passcode for the people that live in this house. Now what I did was set up a permanent custom passcode. A custom passcode is a actual passcode of, which is a sequence of numbers that you come up with yourself. So whether the passcode is one, two, three, four, two, five, eight, nine, three, three, six, four. It has to be, to be between four and 20 numbers. That's a lot. You can set this custom number up yourself so that it's easy for you to remember. So you name it and then you come up with your own custom passcode. And that is under the custom feature. So to test out your passcode for your Syfy log, you're gonna go ahead and just press the screen until it lights up and then put your code in. And then press pen. Unlocked. And there you have it, unlocked. Locked. And now it's locked. Now with the Syfy lock, as you noticed, after I put my code in and the door unlocked about Four to five seconds later, it automatically locked back. Well, there is a setting in the app where you can set the auto lock to be on or off. I opt to have the auto lock taken off just because I'm testing it, but you can have the auto lock uh, stay on. And with the auto lock, you can also delay the time from five, 10, 15, 20, I'm sorry, 5, 10, 15, 30 seconds, all the way up to 60 seconds. And you can also set custom times for the auto lock. So now that I've set up the lock and the keypad, I'm going ahead and set up these key cards, which I think are really neat. So in order to set up the key cards, you just go into your app, you click on cards and you create a name for the card and then you press next. And then once you press next, it'll say connecting with lock. Please tap your card. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cards and tap them. Please swipe your card. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swipe my card. Input and then swipe this. Unlocked. I have it unlocked. Lock the door, you just go ahead and press and hold the pound key. Locked. And there you go, all locked. Now also with the Syfleet app and the lock, they give you a key. These two keys, they look super weird. They don't even look like keys. But in order to use the keys, there is a little lock on the top that you stick the keys in and you turn them. And this is in case like your battery is low and you haven't gotten a chance to change out your battery and your batteries are dead or no longer working. And now you need to get in your home. Well, you have these keys. Okay, so here we are again with the Syfy lock. You're gonna go ahead and press this little lock on the top. It's a little tab on the top. You just push it on the right and it pops up like that. And you take it out. See? Now you go ahead and take your key and you're gonna insert it in the lock. So again, there's this flat knob on the top here. You just go ahead and push it on the right. It pops up, you take it out. You take your key and you put it in the top, just like that. And the door is locked. You turn it this way, the door is unlocked. Now, unfortunately, the key doesn't come out when it's in the lock position or the unlock position, because that allows you to be able to get into your home and lock the door as necessary. Oh, it's such a nice day outside. I'm just coming outside to get some fresh air. It is about to rain. I just finished installing the Syfy lock on our garage door. And it was super easy, super simple. If you are interested in getting a Syfy lock, I definitely encourage you to get it. They have them available on Amazon. And I think we got ours in like two days. And it's, 
and honestly it sat there for a couple days because I got super busy but again it only took me it took me about 30 35 minutes to completely install the app and get everything set up I got myself set up, my husband registered and got him set up, got our oldest daughter set up. So it took a little bit of time just to do all that. But for the most part, it was super easy, super simple to get it set up. Everything came with the, uh, the box, came with everything that we needed. And we're actually going to get one for our office. So shout out to Typhly. And no, this video is not sponsored. It is about to rain. Well, it looks like it's about to storm really bad. I wonder if I'll have enough time to throw the salmon fillets on the grill. I don't think so. I'm not even gonna change it, but anyways, I'm gonna clean up my mess because I didn't clean up after I finished putting the lock in. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. I will talk to you guys another day. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share my content on all of your social media platforms. And be sure to follow me as well at Joanna Marie, and have a great day. Bye.